All right, hey Capricorn. So we are doing the singles um, read for y'all. The cards have been pre-shuffled. The intention I put out there to the universe is for, um, from a one to three months from now, if you've not already met somebody, okay? So, um, yeah. Um, this is for those of you who um, are done, right? You're, you're ready to meet somebody new. You're walking away from the past. Look at the energy. It's like you have cut the cords of the past and you are ready for something new. I love the, the Ten of Swords. I love that card. One more. Capricorn. All right, so the energy you are in when you meet this person, all right? We have the King of Swords energy. This is about, um, um, you're like in this mode where it's like, tell it like it is, like you go for it, like you go after what you want, you get it, like you do not sugarcoat nothing. Um, this is about honesty, integrity. This is um, you, you striving for what you want and you getting it because you strive, you're honest, you know, you're committed, I feel like. Um, and I feel like this is a transformation too of uh, energy that you may have been or found yourself in in the past, right? Um, your situation that you're in when you meet this person, we have the two of wands. All right. This energy is, um, coming out of the shadows. It's about moving forward. All right. So I feel like you are ready to go. Like this is a, um, this is about taking action. All right. And I feel like when you, um, meet this person, this is the energy you are in. It's like almost like you see them and you go for it. Right. Look at the guy, look at the deer, you know, the, the deer, the stag. It's like, you see it, you go for it. All right. And, um, there's going to be a victory in it. So who's coming towards you? We have, um, all right, the tower. Um, I feel like this is more of a rep representation of um, Scorpio, okay? Um, I don't feel like this person's going to be a complete mess. It could be that they have go gone through some things and they are going through their own transformation process when you guys meet. Um, but overall, I'm feeling like it could be somebody with Scorpio in their chart um, as far as who's coming towards you, okay? Um, their energy that they are in when you guys meet, we have the chariot. All right. So yeah, I do feel like this person, they're like, they're eager. Um, I don't feel like it's to cover up or rebound from anything. I don't, I truly feel like this person is just eager to, um, get things going. I feel like they could have dealt with some energy in the past, but I, overall, it's like this person's ready to move forward. When, when you guys meet, they're ready to get stuff done. They're ready to make it happen. All right. Um, their situation they are in. We have the Five of Wands. Um, now for um, the single person that we are talking to, um, the situation they are in with the Five of Wands, this card, um, for single people, it could mean that they are stringing along other energies. Um, it could be that this person has energies chasing after them, okay? Um, it could be that they're string up, stringing them along, but I, I really, I'm not feeling that. I feel like it's a, I feel like the chariot's coming out because this is the, the movement they want when they meet you. Um, but it could be that other energies, um, are attracted to them or they could be talking to other energies as well as you. Um, so keep that in mind and maybe just ask questions as far as where you guys stand, you know, um, when it gets to that point. Um, then your future, what does that look like? We have the ace of cups. So this right here is about, um, this is about new beginnings, new beginnings in love, emotion, you know, um, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, love fulfillment. All right. Um, this is all, this is about newness. Um, it could be too that the tower card, um, um, when combined with the ace of cups, it could be that this person is just really wanting something new with somebody and they've yet to, um, um, meet the perfect person. They could be have energies around them, um, but I'm, I'm almost feeling like kind of taking back the stringing along. I'm, I feel like it's more like these people are not potentials for this person. All right. And they're kind of tired of it, you know, and it's like, no sooner, I almost feel like they give up dating and then it's like you guys meet. So, um, for Capricorn,
All right. So what is your attraction level, um, the chemistry um, that you feel towards this person when you guys um, come into fruition? And it's like seven of wands. Okay. So your energy um, being in seven of wands, this is like, uh, I almost feel like um, it's, look, it's even paired with the five of wands. It's like um, this person's mine now and you guys can all back off, right? Um, this is you. Um, I feel like uh, it's like claimed, you know, um, and I do feel like this person um, is rather um, I, I, I feel like they enjoy that that feeling that somebody's going to snatch them up. Right. Um, but you're very attracted to this person. You're the chemistry is is right there for you. Um, how does this person um, feel about you? All right. We have the hanged man. They could just be holding back because of the situations that they've found themselves previously, okay? Um, the hangman coming out with the tower. Um, they could be just a little bit reserved. I almost do feel like it's like they've experienced those energies, so they're at a, a bit of an uh, impasse when it comes to um, something new. But I do feel like you guys, you're, you Capricorn, are gonna, you're going to talk them out of that, you know, the mutual um, attraction. We have the chariot, so the chariot's coming out again. So you guys might actually move into this union rather quickly. Um, this coming out with the two of wands, I feel like, yeah, if anybody's going to take action, it's going to be swift action. All right. Um, the two of wands is about action movement, right? Um, so what's to come next for you guys? We have the queen of cups. Okay. So the queen of cups, this is like, yeah, we're going to spread love quickly. Um, but it's, it is going to be about love. This is going to be about compassion. This is about passion. This is going to be like, um, yeah, you're, I mean, it's just, I don't even know how to say it. It's like you guys are emotionally forward progressing. It's like a, um, a level um, um, or next level, I'm going to say emotional maturity. Um, I don't feel like anybody is uh, emotionally unavailable. I don't feel like anybody's wounded here. I feel like this is a good um, progress for you, Capricorn. Um, and then the advice, we have judgment. Um, so with the judgment card coming out, and the Ace of Cups, for some of you, this is going to be somebody from the past coming back and it's a new start, okay? For others of you, this is a, a deeper connection. This is going to be past life um, uh, situation where, again, you guys get a new start, all right? So you could take that however you um, resonate with it. Um, it could be that this person that you have previously been with or um, went to school with or worked with, it could be that they are um, also a past life energy for you. So however you feel like that's resonating, um, somebody's coming back. So I'm just gonna get a message from the, the universe. I wanna see what kind of union this is for Capricorn. Uh, look at reconciliation, all right? I mean, out of all the cards that could have came out, we have reconciliation. So this is definitely past life. Um, and it could be past life as in this life in the past. And it could be um, deep past life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone from your past is returning to your life, Cap. All right, so let's finish this off. So your hopes and fears when it comes to this person, um, you, I feel like it's a you. You might be feeling like you ha have lack. All right, when it comes to certain certain um, um, financial um, uh, abundance, and it could be that you're just worried about how you're gonna take on um, this person. All right, but I feel like your team is saying, don't worry, everything unfolds as it should. Um, don't let that be any hang up on your end this person's hopes and fears. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I almost feel like it's a, they might feel like you are either moving too fast or too slow. I do feel like it's the too slow range um, that this situation um, is being held up and they're not sure why. It's like, don't, aren't, don't you like me? I like you, you know, that type of situation. So I feel like this person just might feel like, um, I feel like they, it might, they might fear that it's taking so slow that there is something wrong. All right, so you might just want to make them feel a little bit more comfortable when it comes to that. Um, you know, if you feel them pulling back energy, I almost feel like it's because it's they feel like it's going too slow and that you might be uh, um, 
not interested or not as in tune with the uh, uh, situation as they thought at the beginning, if that makes sense. Um, the advice, we have Ace of Wands. Um, so this is inspiration right here. Um, it, I almost feel like this is just like a, there, there's not going to be, um, I feel like w with the slow or the pauses that happen, I don't feel like they're going to be, um, I feel like they're going to be few and far between. Okay. I feel like this right here, your advice, this is your team saying, no, there's enough passion here that you guys, y'all are going to be just fine. And, um, I, I do feel like you guys are going to keep pushing each other forward. Um, and with the Ace of Wands coming out, I do feel like you guys are going to have a lot of passion, but I also feel like you guys are going to inspire one another to do, to want to do better and achieve more and just like go the distance when it comes to yourselves and this situation, um, the outcome and the outcome. So you have the magician, all right, you having all the tools to manifest what you want out of this situation. Will you be happy? Look at that nine of cups coming out, wish fulfillment. Yeah, you guys are going to be very, very happy with this person. This situation right here, mm -hmm. you've waited for it. You've waited for it, Capricorn, and now it's here. Wish fulfillment? Hell yeah. So the signs you are dealing with, who are we talking about? This could be any placement in their chart, okay? So we have... You could be dealing with another Capricorn, all right? Or Capricorn in their chart. And we have fire signs. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming out for you, Capricorn. And the initials. We got uh, something sticking right here. No, come on. All right. These are initials are going to be yours or their first, middle, or last. Okay, but also the um, it could be um, abbreviations to some are significant to you guys. Okay. Um, something that is uh, something between you and this person. It doesn't have to be initials, but um, here we have, all right, we have um, Q, G, oh, it's kind of blurry, T, V, A, X, F, and C. All right, so yours are there, first, middle, or last. Or abbreviations to somewhere significant. Um, all right, Capricorn. I think I'm going to leave it there, man. You guys have had a good read. There's not really much uh, um, further expo exploration. Um, next week, I will do another spread just like this for the new um, energies coming out, you guys. So please um, come back in a week and let's see what we got going on for you there, okay? I will talk to you guys soon.